Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. A quick impromptu video to bring you the latest on Arsenal's pursuit of Lissandro Martinez, the Ajax defender. Literally uh, just finished though watching that incredible match between Nick Kyrgios and Stefanos Tsitsipas at the uh, Wimbledon Championship. Uh, unbelievable game of tennis. I mean, it was superb. But you're not here to listen to me talk about tennis, but I thought it was so good. I've just watched it. I've got to mention it, so apologies. But anyway, let's get into what we're actually here to talk about. And that is the latest update on Lissandro Martinez from David Ornstein of The Athletic. The Ornacle has taken to social media to give us the latest. And here is what he has to say. He says, Arsenal are scheduled to meet Ajax next week as the battle to sign Lissandro Martinez intensifies. The North London club and their rivals, Manchester United, are both negotiating with their Dutch counterparts for the Argentinian international. Both English sides believe Martinez is happy to join them and so personal terms are not expected to be an issue. If Ajax get what they want, which is thought to be around 50 million euros guaranteed, the 24-year-old will have to choose his preferred destination. Martinez is said to have told the Eredivisie champions that the only option he will consider this summer is a move to the Premier League. When Ajax extended his contract last October, there was an understanding that they would not stand in his way if such an opportunity arose. Arsenal have long pursued Martinez and made him their defensive priority for this transfer window as The Athletic revealed last month. But newly appointed United manager Eric Ten Hag wants to reunite with his former charge. Of course, the pair work together at Ajax and the opportunity is understood to appeal to the left-sided centre-back. Now this is a really really interesting part because it goes on to say that Martinez has played mostly in central defence but can also operate on the left and as a holding midfielder. He made 120 appearances for Ajax since arriving from Argentina back in 2019. United view Martinez as a centre-back of a different profile to rival Harry Maguire, Victor Lindelof and Rafael Varane, who are, of course, all at the club presently. Um, and the club are, of course, looking to move on some centre-backs. So there's clearly scope to bring some in at Manchester United. But this is the interesting part. Arsenal are said to see Martinez, who's five foot nine, as an excellent um, option to cover Kieran Tierney. According to this piece, the Gunners see him primarily as a left back. Now, that is really interesting because it plays a big role, I guess, in Lissandro Martinez's thinking. What does he want to be? You know, I think we can all sort of see what he can bring in terms of versatility. I think we can all see the fact that he can play in those three positions mentioned as a real positive, a real bonus and a real reason to go out and get the deal done and bring him in because he'd be a great asset to the squad. But it's interesting that Arsenal see him as a left back more than anything else, a left back with the capabilities of playing in different positions, whereas Manchester United will be bringing him in specifically as a centre back. I think that could be huge here. I think that could be the factor that ultimately tips this uh, very finely balanced scale one way or the other. Is Lissandro Martinez happy to come to Arsenal and play a slightly different role? Or will he think that, you know, better the devil you know and join Eric Ten Hag, uh, join his Manchester United side and uh, and play in the position that he's been most comfortable in? The other thing, though, is as well that, you know, and, and I think this is why the Athletic put it in the piece, five foot nine inches. Is he quite big enough to impose himself as a centre-back in the Premier League? I think he could probably do it from time to time. But I think when you look at that, you'd probably think that maybe he would be a little bit more comfortable playing somewhere where he doesn't need to be as physical, where he needs to uh, move out to the left-hand side, for example, and, and needs to rely on his ability to get across the ground, but also his ability with the ball at his feet. There's no question mark about what he can do technically. There's no question mark about his ability to progress the ball, to bring the ball out of the defence. But physically, is he going to get pushed around a little bit in the Premier League? Because he's not the biggest centre-half in the world. Now, I think that depends who plays next to him. I think in a back three, he'd work brilliantly. Um, but at the moment, unless Eric Ten Hag is going to implement that at Manchester United, which I don't know, there isn't really a back three at either of these two sides at present. So 
if he is going to go somewhere as a centre-back, he's going to be one of two. And I think in the Premier League, his lack of stature and power could be a little bit of a problem. Uh, so I think Arsenal, seeing him as a left-back uh, and as someone who can drop into the midfield if necessary as well, uh, is probably more like what I've got in mind. But obviously, that's not what the player has been used to. That's not the position that the player has played in uh, for the most part of his career. And so I think that is the decision, that is the kind of the sticking point upon which this decision is going to be made. If indeed both clubs are going the distance, both clubs are going to push one another till the final hurdle. Both clubs are going to satisfy Ajax with their offer. And it does turn out to be a straight choice between Arsenal and Manchester United. I think that will be the key point. But it's interesting that Arsenal are still in the conversation because we've heard a lot over the last couple of days that actually Arsenal are not an option anymore for Lissandro Martinez, that he is, of course, uh, looking to move to Manchester United. We did hear, so I advise caution, with the Rafinha stuff that there was going to be a meeting coming up in the next few days. And then we never heard anything about that. Again, the next thing we heard was that he was going to Chelsea and even that's broken down. So, I'm reluctant to say that the fact that there's a meeting scheduled means it's A, even going to take place and B, going to be something that we we benefit from. But what I would say is at this stage for Arsenal to be organising a meeting, it signifies to me, signifies to us, I think, that actually reports suggesting that Lissandro Martinez has told Arsenal, nope, I'm not interested. I want to go to Manchester United are probably well off the mark. Because if he had already done that, would Arsenal still be wasting their time? Would Arsenal be trying to appease Ajax? Or would Arsenal have gone, OK, no worries, this isn't happening. His heart set on Manchester United. Let's revert to other targets. So the fact that this meeting is scheduled, according to The Athletic, gives me encouragement that Lissandro Martinez is yet to shut the door on Arsenal. Still hoping this one. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Really enjoy dropping these short uh, transfer updates throughout the window, but please show your support by doing uh, those things for me, liking, subscribing, leave a comment with your thoughts in the chat box. Uh, how confident are you on a scale of one to 10 that Arsenal can get this deal over the line? Cheers for tuning in.